It is a great pleasure for Mrs. Kennedy and for me, for the Vice President and Mrs. Johnson, and for the members of Congress to welcome the ambassadorial corps of our hemisphere, our longtime friends, to the White House today. 139 years ago this week, the United States, stirred by the heroic struggle of its fellow Americans, urged the independence and recognition of the new Latin American republics. It was then at the dawn of freedom throughout this hemisphere that Bolivar spoke of his desire to see the Americas fashioned into the greatest region in the world. Greatest, he said, not so much by virtue of her area and her wealth as by her freedom and her glory. We meet together as firm and ancient friends, united by history and experience, and by our determination to advance the values of American civilization. For this new world of ours is not a mere accident of geography. Our continents are bound together by a common history, the endless exploration of new frontiers. Our nations are the product of a common struggle, the revolt from colonial rule, and our people share a common heritage, the quest for the dignity and the freedom of man. For our unfilled task is to demonstrate to the entire world that man's unsatisfied aspirations for economic progress and social justice can best be achieved by free men working within a framework of democratic institutions. As a citizen of the United States, let me be the first to admit that we North Americans have not always grasped the significance of this common mission. Just as it is also true that many in your own countries have not fully understood the urgency of the need to lift people from poverty and ignorance and despair. If we are to meet a problem so staggering in its dimension, our approach must itself be equally bold, an approach consistent with the majestic concept of Operation Pan America. Therefore, I have called on all people of the hemisphere to join in a new alliance for progress, Alianza Para Progressa, a vast cooperative effort, unparalleled in magnitude, magnitude and nobility of purpose, to satisfy the basic needs of the American people for homes, work, and land, health, and schools, techo, trabajo, y tierra, salud y escuela. Let us once again transform the American continent into a vast crucible of revolutionary ideas and efforts, a tribute to the power of the creative energies of free men and women, an example to all the world that liberty and progress walk hand in hand. Let us once again awaken our American revolution until it guides the struggle of people everywhere, not with an imperialism of force or fear, but the rule of courage and freedom and hope for the future of man. This is your program, the program of your progressive, far-seeing government. And the people of my country will share in this program by making available more loans to build rural homes and more credits to finance your crops. This program is at the heart of the Alianza Paral Progresso. For no real progress is possible unless the benefits of increased prosperity are shared by the people themselves. Me alegro haber podido acompañar mi marido a Venezuela. La distinción y la importancia de vuestra cultura 
ya me eran conocidos. También me han impresionado vuestros esfuerzos por mejorar las condiciones de vida de vuestro pueblo. Yo sé que no hay esposa, ni madre, ni padre, ni familia en este continente que pueda conformarse hasta que los habitantes de todos nuestros pueblos tengan oportunidades de trabajo bien remunerado, pueden vivir recientemente y, y recibir enseñanza. Estas cosas deberían estar al alcance de todos y no limitarse a unos pocos afortunados. El Progreso is designed to transform this hope into a reality. It calls for a vast and immediate effort on the part of all the Americas to satisfy the basic needs of our people for work and land and homes and schools. It expects within the next 10 years, the decade of development, to be well on the way to satisfying these basic needs to the workers, to the campesinos on the farm, to the women who toil each day for the welfare of their children. To all, we bring a message of hope. Every day, every hour, in my country and in this country and in all the countries of this hemisphere, dedicated men and women are struggling to bring nearer the day when all will have more to eat and a decent roof over their head and schools for their children when all will have a better and more abundant life to accompany that human dignity to which all men are entitled and that love of freedom to which all of us are committed by our inheritance and our desire. our responsibility uh, to recognize that there is also a necessity for an economic revolution. If political independence, political equality, national sovereignty are all to have true significance and true meaning. Until that is done in this hemisphere from the top to the bottom, our revolution and the revolution of this hemisphere is incomplete. We in the United States are committed to a better life for our people. For no nation can seek social justice abroad that does not practice it at home. But now, in addition, the United States of America is committed to help fulfill these goals throughout the Americas, to work together with Mexico and all the other nations of the inter-American system to create a society in which all men have equal access to land, to jobs, and to education. A society in which no man is exploited for the enrichment of a few, and in which every arm of the government is dedicated to the welfare of all the people. This effort is not a one-way street. We in the United States have much to learn, as well as something to teach.
Now in our own time, the inter-American system faces old foes and new challenges. For today, we are faced not merely with the protection of new nations, but with the remolding of ancient societies. Not only with the destruction of political enemies, but with the destruction of poverty, hunger, ignorance, and disease. <laughs> to meet this enormous challenge, the peoples of the Americas have fashioned an alianza para el progreso. We celebrate here today a great victory, and that is a victory for the human spirit. For these houses, these medical units, these books are today freeing men and women from centuries of bondage and poverty, which has imprisoned their capacity, their happiness, and their future. And I am proud, as a citizen of the United States, to be here in Costa Rica taking part in this great effort. <laughs> These goals for today's America are summed up in the words, Alianza para el progreso. You remind Americans of the very important links that we have with our sister republics in this hemisphere. One of the things which I have taken the greatest interest has been in attempting to pursue an example which was long neglected, and that was the one set by President Franklin Roosevelt to emphasize that the United States is not only good neighbors, which we were in the 30s, but also friends and associates in a great effort to build in this hem hemisphere an alliance for progress, an effort to prove that in this hemisphere from top to bottom, in all of the countries, uh, whether they be Latin, or North American, that there is a common commitment to freedom, to equality of opportunity, to a chance for all, to prove that prosperity can be the handmaiden of freedom, and to show to the world a very bright star here in this country, and indeed in the entire hemisphere. <laughs>